Hello, what is happening everybody? Jim here, wonderful music enthusiasts and MuseScore learners, users. Hope everyone's doing well, creating great music. Today's video is on fingering and I'm gonna particular speak about on the piano realm of fingering. Some of my learners have been reaching out, they wanna change fingerings on an exercise or piece and they've been doing it a very slow way. And so I said I should make a video because less time on the screen more, means more time practicing and creating. All right, so what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how to customize and how to build a shortcut with fingering and reach out if there's a question or maybe you have a, a tip you'd like to share with our audience. Let's begin. So the first thing I wanna do is make sure you have the advanced palette. So I have this in default, so you can go to where it's basic, click down and find advanced. Then you'll have all, all the palettes here. So you can type in fingering and it'll pop up or you can just go down where you see it. And I have this note already highlighted, so you can enter the fingering this way, which is pretty good, unless if you have a lot of phrases you wanna add in fingering. Now, when we have a hand position change, sometimes we'll use uh, the circle here, and I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. Uh, that's the best way I know how to do it, but I have another idea. All right, what I'm gonna address now is creating your own shortcut for fingering. So you can just work right away in the score and punch in that shortcut and get the work. How we do that, we go to edit up here. And then from edit, we're gonna click on preferences. And you're gonna wanna head down. I have this all set up like it's a user. This is what you most likely would see. So I'm gonna type in fingering. And then it says add fingering. Well, I have built the shortcut you see and I meant to delete that. Whoops, that is easy. So this is what you're gonna see. Add fingering, so you have to build a shortcut. It's easy to build a shortcut, but I personally like to keep what MuseScore has, and also after you build a shortcut, you wanna test it right away. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna highlight this, and then I'm gonna put define. You'll have this prompt, and I'm gonna use Alt-Shift-F, that works for me, and I'm gonna click add, and then click apply. Move this here so you can see it. All right, so now I'm gonna click apply, click okay. Let's go to this note here, note A. We're gonna put in three. I'm gonna go ahead and put Alt-Shift-F in number three. Awesome, that is working. So if you wanna get out, you can press the Escape key. What I'm gonna do now is just press the space bar and that will prompt you to the next note. All right, so it's really easy to do the fingering space bar to the right, but how do we go to the left? I have seen some learners press Escape and then they go to the Add and then they go to Text, select Fingering. No, all you need to do is Alt key down and then the left arrow, as you can see here. And I'll make this uh, five and then I will press escape, all done. All right, so let's say I need to do a hand position change. Uh, the quickest way I know how to do this is from the advanced palette. I highlight a note and then I press. However, if you want it, I have seen this in music, it's not as popular. Let's say I just need, I don't know, a two. I'm gonna do parentheses and a two. Do I do that? A little bit, uh, but basically um, I just go to the palette and then click the hand change there. If there's another way, I'm gonna poke around and I'll leave a comment if there is another way, but I think that's as fast as we can do. All right, so the last part is customizing the fingering. It might seem easy, uh, however, when you go to the inspector or if you go to format score, there's a few things that happen that could confuse the user. What I do is if I generally need to make the fingering larger, so what I'm gonna do is just take this first measure here and I'm gonna go ahead and select, I'm gonna click on the five and then I right mouse click, select all similar elements, so I have them highlighted. I'm gonna go to F8, move this out of the way, so I have it at eight right now as a font size. I'm gonna make it larger and you can see it's pretty simple. Generally, I have to make fingerings larger for people, but you can obviously go the other way to make it smaller. And then if you wanna change the font size, that's easy. So it's kind of like a word processing thing here. I like their design of Edwin, so we'll keep that. 
All right, so now I'm gonna show a quick way on how to move the fingering up. You might have a lot of different music going on or you might need to move the fingering a little bit to the right or left. This is what I do. This is pretty easy and I'm gonna show you what you might run into. I'm not saying I, my way is the best way but it saves headaches and, and it helps me save time. So when I have these fingerings, for instance, I have them highlighted. So I did the I'll select all elements. Now I just hold that, press the mouse key, and then I move that up so it's anchored. And I can do, I can push, I can put this where I like. All right, so now, access point. I'm gonna go to F8, I'm gonna select all again. So now I'm gonna go to the inspector and show you what can happen if you use the access point F8. And I'm gonna go ahead and just move, I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna have, hopefully, the finger ring will go up a bit from the staff. Not going anywhere, so I can't move that up. Oh, there we go. So I had to get pretty drastic there. Uh, so that took a lot of time. Let's see what happened with the five. Okay, so I get it, could be an operator error, but again, why not just anchor the, the finger rings anchored and just move them where you need to. The other part is, if I wanted to go to format and then go to style, then go to text style at the bottom, go to fingering, you have this. And I sometimes work through here, but I've noticed if I need to make the fingering smaller or larger, it doesn't always change. But it will probably now because I'm recording it, right? All right, so yeah, that's not changing. I'll click OK. All right, so I don't know, it could be just a gym thing again, but if you do run into this, if you need to make the fingering larger, I just go to inspector and then I go to font size. And then if I need to move the fingering a little bit to the right or left, or up or down, I go ahead and highlight them all, and then it's anchored as you can see earlier. I hope this video helped. I do my best to make sure I give great content for music enthusiasts and learners. So if you do like my content, here's the YouTube thing, definitely consider subscribing. The channel's growing, and I'm very grateful for that. Until next time, I wish everyone well, and keep creating great music. Bye for now.